man, look, y'all don't even understand. He's the one that started this low management crap. Oh, it's the rings. That's not the question you asked me before. Oh, this guy's easy to talk to. Your boys keep saying I keep cooking you every episode, so let's get back in the kitchen. I'm gonna cook them up once again. This is the problem with sports, period. It's the billionaire yeah. club. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Courtesan Session Podcast for another episode with your host, Ray. Gary Disco. It's been a while. We missed y'all, but we back. We and are we're back. strong. And it's the best time of year. It's the most wonderful time of year. It's NBA playoffs. I agree. Jason, can you let us know what the first topic is today? All right. The first topic we have, we're going to recap the first round from the NBA playoffs. All right, cool. So like Darry said, we missed a little bit of time with you guys, but we're back and we're better than ever. We're just going to go over uh, a quick recap of the first round, and then we'll move on to the next segment. So um, I think the... F- I think it's fair to say, Darry, that the biggest upset of the first round was probably Miami over Milwaukee. Eight seed, eight seed beating a one. Agreed. Don't really see that that often. Uh, the New York Knickerbockers came up and beat a very solid Cleveland team. You want, me, you, you want my opinion? Yeah, I want your opinion. Cleveland... They were okay. See, what people get the misconception of these teams is that what they do in a regular season, they're going to carry it over. And what's different, what I try to explain to people is that when you're in a series, you have to beat a team four times. As opposed to in the season, you might be coming off a back-to-back. You don't play each other. It's very rare that you play each other back, um, back-to-back. I saw it a little bit in the a NBA. Little bit. Yeah, but... After game two in series, um, seven game series, each team knows what they're trying to run. Mm-hmm. And it's about the will. Cleveland bigs, I always felt, were weak. And I think by them getting rid of Kevin Love, that hurt them, that hurt them a lot. He was their so, best rebounder. Yes. And he's a veteran. And yeah. he's a champ. Yeah. You he know? has a winning pedigree. Yes. And and two, I think Cleveland is just a bit too young. You think of their... their Nucleus, you've got Garland, yeah, yes, you've got Mobley, no experience. Yeah, they haven't been spiders, there. their most seasoned vet, and yeah. he doesn't have great playoff experience either. With you, who's that? Donovan Mitchell, yes, yeah, he took a big step back, yeah, though. no, he did. And I bet you he wishes he was a Nick right now, yes. Philly and Brooklyn, that was easy, yeah, that was easy. that was we knew what was going to happen. Yes. Boston, Atlanta, Atlanta made it exciting for a little yes. bit. Yes. Trey Young's a great scorer, F Trey Young, but he's a great scorer. Um, Denver, they made they kept it a little close with Minnesota, but Minnesota had a decent matchup with them. Denver's doing what Denver's doing. Suns uh, edged out the Clippers. That War- wasn't expected. I no, mean, you know what's what I'm what I'm starting to see this year in the playoffs. That you know the NBA is so thirsty for stars and great coaches that they ordain these people so quick. Now that Boston team has the same that's the same personnel they had last year that went to the championship mm-hmm. with the addition of uh Malcolm Brogdon mm-hmm. who got 6 man of the year. And you could see the struggling cuz this guy he's not ready to be a head coach. Joe Mazzulla. Yes, yeah. with a team that has championship aspirations. Like he makes critical mistakes. Marcus Smart is shooting the ball more than Jalen Brown Mm -hmm. in the fourth quarter. That's a problem. That's a problem. And it's not, and see what people, you know, on our job, and and for all the guys from Shrobo that y'all get this, this is the things I try to explain to y'all. The coaches draw up the plays. You always have two or three options. But Marcus Smart is shooting the ball because this is what the coach is designing. You you don't have Jalen Brown who... Uh, congratulations to him and Tatum making um, first team and second team all NBA. This um, two games ago, he shot one for three in the fourth quarter. The game before that, he didn't take a, yeah. a um, shot in the fourth quarter. And then you down by one. And another thing, you don't lo- you don't leave games and you're behind with timeouts. That's mm-hmm. that's a mistake. Yeah, you had a timeout. You had 12 seconds to go. You didn't call a timeout. The team that, when you call a timeout, the defensive team is nervous. Mm -hmm. So they, and they're over the limit, but you're gonna play right out and then you don't even get a shot off. Uh, I think Boston is done. 
I think so too. But we'll get into but that. Yeah, in yeah, we're good. I'm sorry. I'm no, you're good. Stepping. No, you're good. You're good. I, I agree with everything you just said. Marcus Smart, I think, in that, in my, in my opinion, in the fourth quarter when he is out there, should be the fourth option. You yeah. think about it. Yes, he's not he's even looking. I mean, he's taking the shots because that's what the coach is giving him the freedom to do. Yeah, I think another upset that I was kind of surprised with was the Warriors over the Kings. I thought the Kings were hitting their stride late in the season but like you said playoffs are a whole different you, monster you, you got to take steps exactly like, there's no one who just you know they're going to just jump i think mike brown's good. heading in the right direction with that team though Definitely. i think i think they'll be Definitely. solid Definitely. and then last the uh the bang bang gang the uh young boys of memphis oh, couldn't handle uh la they were too busy you know doing whatever they do off the court they had dellen brooks the uh soonest soon to be new addition to the shanghai sharks as everyone keeps saying yeah, yeah, yeah uh yes. i mean i don't uh, he was stupid for waking up a beast in lebron i think he was talking oh lebron's old lebron's this and i think the lakers rallied behind that they said okay let's put these punks to bed and send them home well you know what ray he's not he doesn't have a, a whole bunch of talent so what the kid is trying to do is make himself stuff, relevant like, yes so he wants to be you know uh like a Draymond Green. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, he's trying to be like a Draymond Green. But um, Draymond do have, not a Draymond. He has a lot of, tan like he has a good, a lot of intangibles. He does a lot of the no, things. No, not, not even that. He's in a system. That's Draymond right, yeah. Green, they're talking about Draymond Green being a Hall of Famer. Where does that happen when you score eight points a game? He's the, never Dennis Rodman's him. a Hall of Famer. I knew you was going to say that. That's why I set you up. They're similar. Dem There's no way. Dennis Rodman led the league in rebound in seven straight years. Okay. That's that's important. That's Dennis good. Rodman is a rebound. Seven straight years. At 6'6". Six, six. True. 6'7", six, 6'6". Seven, six, six. Yeah. But he played defense, but he was a rebounder. Mm -hmm. What does Draymond Green Draymond's do? Draymond's a solid passer. He's not. As a, as a four, he's getting he's seven, not even eight a four. It's the system. Okay. He goes anywhere else. He's going to be like uh, Danny Ferry. Oof. Danny Ferry, the only thing, I, the only reason why I remember that name is when Marcus Camby went to punch him and he punched Van Gundy right in the face by accident. The only reason why I said Danny Ferry because he's going to be Danny Ferry's assistant in whatever he's doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Draymond. It's all right, Draymond. All right, Jay, what's the second segment we got? All right, we're going to go over what we've already seen from the second round and your predictions. All right, cool. So... Right now, what we've got, we've got the best eight teams left in the in the uh, playoffs in the east in the Eastern semis and the Western semis. All four series are three to two. First one is uh, Philly versus Boston. Let's talk about that one a little bit. I know you said in the last segment Boston's done. Pack them up. Oh, I got. Let me take my glasses off. Still, you know, I want to look. That series right there, that is. A prime example of experienced coach, experienced coach that doesn't have the talent on his roster from one to twelve mm -hmm. that Boston has. But you don't even see Boston hangs they had on defense. You don't even see the defense. Um, they look confused. They look very confused, and that's what happened when you you know you try to do things. You have you can't skip past these these things. So they thought the boss is gonna lose. And so now where do they go where they go from here? Because they done gave this man, I think, four year, four year contract or so. I think you get rid of him as quick as you did uh Yudoka. Well Yudoka <laughs> did that to herself. Yeah. But you you shouldn't have gave him that contract because of the regular season. Because they are underachieving. Like that Milwaukee was out of it. They were supposed to the first game they lost and Harding gets 45 points. Yeah, that was a bad that, look That's for bad. Um, Philly, you know, and then Philly got that seven foot two point guard. Oh, um, the great Joel Embiid. The, the tissue man. <laughs> tissue man who wants to take um, double step backs. Okay. So I would love to see Philly and Denver. Philly and Denver and have the two centers. Of this have the generation. real, have the the skill guy against the point guard. Okay. So you think Philly's got this in the bag? They gonna beat Boston. They're gonna beat Boston. So Boston loses. Let's say they fire Missoula. Who is a who's a candidate that you think would be a good fit for Boston? It's 
someone that they would actually hire because Mark Jackson is a great Mark Jack yeah he's been he's been blackballed out of the league though thank you Jerry West <laughs> all right we're gonna get back uh into another Eastern Conference series <sighs> I hate talking about this right now but Miami has a 3-2 lead over New York heading back to Miami Knicks really, really scared me last night. They uh, they had a 20-point lead. Is that I, a, a, a this match? is a Steve Novak t-shirt jersey. Respect. One of the best spot-up shooters in shooters. Notre Dame. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Because he but wasn't that in the NBA. He was solid with the Knicks. He was a he was German solid. man. He was a 6'10 Listen, guy that played like they a paid, They paid the bills, man. He paid like 300 minutes. Hey. 300 minutes more than me he was a great college player yeah he was at marquette yeah, yeah he was a great no, he was very player. good sure i mean the knicks scare right. me in, in a sense where miami's always got an open shooter the way they facilitate that ball offensively there's always someone open the knicks are very lazy on defense like you said in the last series boston prides their, themselves on defense new york prides themselves on themselves on defense tom thibodeau is known as a defensive guru can't win games when you're star player and Julius Randle's moping and oh I guess they want it more than us luckily we've got a little fiery mouse in Jalen Brunson who does it all right now he's the only reason why the Knicks are still alive I'm very very worried about this game in South Beach tomorrow night but listen to me people if the Knicks pull it out tomorrow Sunday the Garden will rejoice because the Knicks are going to the Eastern Conference Finals if they win game six the floor is yours thank you very much disco dance away the the matchups and, and again playoffs are about matchups miami is not a good matchup for the knicks because they hang their hats on the defense on defense mm -hmm. they have better perimeter shooters than the knicks oh yeah the knicks have side but miami is tough and gritty well that's why they've been taking the lead because and, they take it away and they have more experience you know, and also they have a great culture over there. Like they draft undrafted players mm -hmm. and they put them in a, I mean, um, Duncan Robinson was undrafted. The Max guy, Struess. And Gabe, Gabe Vincent. Vincent. He was undrafted guys. And look at them. You would not know that if you didn't do any research. Max Struess is a bad man right now. These guys, are, and then you got a guy like Jimmy Butler at six seven, that does everything as opposed to, Jalen Brown. I mean, Jalen Brunson. Who's 6'2". 6'2", right. Also, the Knicks don't know what pace they want to play it. True. When they when they second team come in, it's a fast Push, pace. Yeah. But then when the starters come, it, it's a methodical. Iso ball. Yeah, iso ball. So you can't even mix because you don't know what kind of style they want to play. They, they don't have... What do the Knicks do very good? They rebound, but they haven't been doing that this series because Miami took that away from them. Miami said, what are your two strengths that got you here? Your transition buckets and your offensive rebounding. And they're taking that away from the Knicks. And Miami is scoring in, in um, transition off of those long mm -hmm. shots. And a yeah. lot, they're getting a lot of turnovers out of that. A lot. The Knicks are killing themselves with turnovers and lack of rebounds. Because you can't play ISO ball with a great defensive team. See, the, problem is, the problem is the Knicks offense, there's no picks. Everybody's in the front. Yeah. So when Julius Randolph turns, there's someone else there, and he's off balance, and he get panics. He throws the ball away. Only person that can facilitate through that is Brunson. Yeah. You know, Brunson will go this way, go that way. So it's the same thing I'm gonna say about with Steve Nash. When you have a great defensive team and all your offensive players are on the front, you make their job easier. Mm -hmm. You got to have back. That's why um, Golden State is such a problem. Because everything is back screened, you know, cutting off the baseline. You got five guys right in the front. They could see all of that. So then it becomes rush shots. The Knicks don't take good shots. They don't. As opposed to Miami shots. So the game is a lot easier for Miami. The reason why the Knicks got that 20-point lead, though, was when Julius Randle got the ball, he was finally said, oh, I'm six, what, six, eight, six, nine, 260. I'm going to impose my will. I was sleeping. Was, I didn't I, see the you, game. you missed a lot of good things. But long story short, he kept getting to the line. He kept getting to the line, okay. kept getting to the line, which is what he needs to do instead of this step back three. There's no need for that. Done talking about this. Knicks are going to win that series. Next. You, you stuck that one in, but you know <laughs> Denver 
is up three to two on Phoenix. They play tonight. Last I saw, DeAndre Ayton has a little bit of a rib injury. Is they're a little yeah. they're a little barbecued. Him and him so. and Beta's cousins. <laughs> DeAndre Ayton, he probably got about fifteen dunks in his career. Like he is the softest dude. When he gets the ball on the dotted line, every he's ne I've never seen him like try to put he somebody in the well. rim. Yeah. yeah, and he's a big you know he's specimen. Big, and he yeah. was very physical at Arizona too. Well, he was playing with ninth graders. <laughs> I'm not gonna compare college. There ain't no grown men in uh, okay. college. But he's a soft guy. That's why they didn't want to give him that money. Yeah. But they didn't want him to walk because they had no nothing they else. Had no center. Yeah. Now, Phoenix got a problem. Devin Booker is a solidified superstar. Mm -hmm. He's better than Tatum. Yes. He's, he's a that kid there. I mean, he can do everything. Mm -hmm. And he's not scared of the moment. No. And he plays defense. But he don't... And, and one thing he's doing that I like, and I wish that Kyrie did, is he didn't take a back seat. Kyrie is a very skilled player, but he's too nice. He takes back seats to guys. He did it with LeBron. You know, he did it with KD, even though he could still get his points. But um, Booker is not taking a backseat, and he ain't thinking about KD. He's doing what he have to do. You know, you fit in. Um, That's the only reason why I think Phoenix is in this series, because they, he's not taking a backseat. Not taking a backseat. Because if Durant had to do it all by himself, I think we're starting to see. He's been declining. And I, and I, 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 I was just about to say it. I think I was going to get shots because i think he's he's, he's been declining significantly if dropped. you look at his life people want to talk about Kyrie. you think about why it didn't work in brooklyn um kevin durant's availability Kyrie got hurt that one year that they would have beat mm -hmm. milwaukee but what happened after that all right they lost a year when he when they both signed the contract because mm -hmm. katie had the achilles injury second year they would have won Kyrie gets injured mm -hmm. but the uh last year and this year Somebody run into his little legs, and it's like two months. And then if you look at him, he's he's so turnover prone now. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he throws the ball away. He doesn't see the his kick. shot selection has been pretty bad too recently. But he's a you know he can do that. Yeah. But it's the turnover. Look at his turnovers. Like he turns the ball over, and then he falls. He he need to ask his legs to just help him sometimes, man. Cause he just falls all the time. Like, damn, it's like this guy just falls, man. I, well, man, he's that. Th he's this thin. You could go like this, like Lance Stevenson. He would have fell over. And, and he doesn't have the like. People used to be scared of KD. Of course, he doesn't know? have the killer mentality anymore. I don't well, think so. People, you could tell when a guy's declining. See. Fans don't know that because, oh, well, he had 29, but it's a different 29. Yeah, when he's 10 for 30. Yeah, from it's the a field. different, yeah. it's a different, and, and he's not annihilating people. Like every shot KD takes, you know, it's, it's a hard shot. It's just that he's a skilled player. Before it was like, it was no contest. Yeah, you couldn't do you anything. You couldn't do anything with him. Now, you know, he falls, he, you know, he's jerking. And I understand because he's what, 35? He'll be 35? I think so. So I understand that, but. He's definitely on the decline. Yeah. And Chris Paul, come on, man. Chris Paul can't stay healthy. He can't stay healthy, man. Forty million a year too. Yeah. So does Denver close it out tonight? Yes, they do. Denver closes. They're playing in. They're playing in Phoenix. in Phoenix. They might go seven, but I don't think so. Okay, I forgot to ask you, Knicks. Does Miami close it out tomorrow? Oh, it's definitely You're done. Wrong. Yeah, it's and then done. Okay. Yeah, it's done. That's why you're wearing that shirt. No. You should be wearing it tomorrow, but you're wearing it today. No, I'm wearing black on Saturday. Because tomorrow Friday's that shirt won't be relevant. Okay. So you're wearing it today. We'll, we'll see. We'll yeah. see. I'd never see the Nick fans wear shirts after they lose. Why would you want to? You're a Nick fan. Do you support losing? No. Listen, if you no. give if you, you give take participation trophies. If you give your all, you go with the results. Okay. I want to see you wear a Nick shirt Saturday outside. Take a picture and send it to me. I got you. All right. Deal. All right. All right. Saturday. All right, cool. So when we'll be tied 3 3, and you're like, damn, Ray, no. you were right. And Bronson I want you to off. smile. I want you to be like, oh, well. <laughs> All right. Yeah, All like right. That. I got you. All right. I got you. Okay. Last series. I think this has been a great one so far. I think this is my favorite one to watch out of the out of the four. It's Lakers are up 3 to 2 on the Warriors. I think it's over for the Warriors. I think it's over. They had a good run, but it's, it's over. Okay. I think so too. I think, I think the Warriors are going to tie the series up just because they are the Warriors. They playing in LA. They are playing in LA. So, okay. It's too big. 
And Anthony Davis is softer than DeAndre Ayton. But they, I love Steph, greatest shooter ever. People always talk about handle mm -hmm. and all of that. I can do what Steph do with the ball because he's just going like this. He, he's, he can't get separation. He doesn't, he, you know, he's gotten better going to the basket, but that's not his strength. Okay. You know, and I'm going to say this because when they compare him to Kyrie, I've heard people say, you know, his handles. When Kyrie dribble a ball, it's like part of his body. He gets shot off on anybody. Anthony Davis is picking stuff up 25 feet from the basket, and, and he couldn't get his shot. Yes, he couldn't get his shot off. You know, and then you got, um, you know, sorry, it's, it's unfortunate what happened to Clay. Yeah. You know, and people talk about, I mean, the guy has had two serious injuries on two different legs, you know, and your jump shot, for those of y'all that don't know, your shot is with your legs. It starts with your legs. Everything is your legs. And he just doesn't have that anymore, you know? And then you have... Um, well, Wiggins I, looks like a totally different person, too, since he came back. I know he's, he's dealt, dealt with, with a lot. lot. You know, he's dealt with yeah. a lot. Yeah, you he know has. What he, I, I heard Wiggins was trying to find out if his last name was really Wiggins. I lived, a, you know, a sad man. Yeah. He was betrayed, man, you yeah. know? I'm Jordan only Poole doesn't look the same either. He, he's, he's too erratic. And then you get Stephen A. talking about... He sh you know, that's why he got punched. You know, I can Whatever. He's so... A, yeah, Jordan Poole is a big disappointment. He's taking shots. And that's again, he's taking shots that he shouldn't be taking. Mm -hmm. You know, so... Now, my last question for you in the second segment. All these series... All, all these series right now are 3-2. to two. Which of these teams that are down 3-2, to two, in your opinion, has the best chance to come back and, and win the series? Boston, New York, Phoenix, or Golden State? Phoenix. Phoenix? Yeah. Okay. Well, you're wrong. It's the Knicks, and they're going to do it. Knicks are going to win it all. Bing bong. Knicks going to win what? Though? Everything. Everything. Hey, you don't even New believe. New York forever. Hey, you don't believe that. If I put New a lot of tests on you and say, do you believe that thing will go... <laughs> <laughs> they would think it's a storm coming, man. Right? just be like my dribbles like Kyrie, just getting separation. Think. All right. Okay. You're wrong. That's it. Third segment. You're wrong. Let's go next. Right, let's go third. Jason, help us out. We'd rather hear your voice than his right now. <laughs> third segment. Let's go over the Eastern and Western Conference final predictions. Oh, I like the proper voice. Huh? Oh, so oh, thank he, you. Oh, I didn't hear that. Can you say that again? Well, well. <laughs> third segment. What was it? Yeah, we're gonna go Eastern. No, no. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Eastern or Western Conference final predictions. Okay. Eastern? Yeah. Who's coming out of the East? Who's coming out of the West? Or who 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 do you have in the in the final in the Eastern Conference finals going to the finals? And then who do you have the two? Whoever whoever wins the Philly Boston series. Okay. Be the champ. Wrong again. And uh the West, I like Denver. Yeah. Denver's gonna beat the Knicks in six games. Guys, unbelievable. Six games. Unbelievable. Knicks are only human. I get it. That's Knicks it. are gonna come back. I don't know. Mitchell who's worse. Robinson's gonna stop. I don't know who's Joel worse. Embiid. Nick fans or the Dallas Cowboy fans. Oh, you Dallas got, Cowboy fans are way worse. No, the Knicks fans are way delusional. Worse. You got a guy from the job didn't come to work because they lost. Listen, I can't speak on That's that. That's ridiculous, I man. That. I can't speak Ray on that. Ray was depressed yesterday. Now they I won. Was, yeah, I was. I was sweating. And, and so now they're going to win? Now they're going to win. It's going to be the Knicks versus Denver. I, if, the Knicks, he, if the Knicks get to the championship, right, I will wear uh, who was the worst name? I will I'll wear, get you a Chris Dudley Knicks jersey. No, I would go one better. I would wear uh, J.R. Smith's brother's jersey. Chris, oh, he was, Chris Smith, yeah, New I'll York Chris, Knicks legend. Yeah, he, he he was a Nick for what? Ten minutes. Two days. <laughs> Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Two they, days. They brought him out there like this yeah. kid. They left the up. message, but he didn't answer it. <laughs> so yeah. they couldn't confirm. <laughs> they couldn't confirm that he was cut. Yeah, I would wear. I would find one and wear his. All right, the good Knicks man. Enough. You guys are gonna see Darry wearing a lot of Chris uh, Chris Smith jerseys. This is nice. Yeah, I got one for you. Yeah. Yeah. If they don't 
you gotta wear a Oliver Condi jersey. Oh man, I gotta find one of those. That's the, that's the biggest the, bust, the bust ever. ever. Yes, he's the worst Ooh. number one pick ever. Okay, so Darry Loki thinks the Knicks are gonna win, but I'll, I'll I'll let you live. So you're saying Phoenix or and or excuse me, Denver and Philly. The the winner out of them. I can't pick Philly and Boston right now. Okay, they playing right now, right? They're play yeah, they're playing right now. Actually, it's seven to three in the first quarter. Boston's up. Oh yeah, see the point guard probably probably got two assists, no baskets. <laughs> all right, <laughs> well, you're wrong. That's and the assists are to the assists are to Boston. <laughs> they stole the ball from him. <laughs> this guy is so oh, soft. Man. Knicks in seven. Knicks beat Philly in six. Knicks lose to Denver in six. You heard it here first. If you want to go on your fan duels, your draft kings, your whatever, go see your book. You know, we're going strong now, right? We had like a month and a half off. You know, we had yeah. different things. All right, people. Hold them accountable next That's time. That's it. I can't wait to see it. Wow, this guy Ray knows his stuff. Knicks, Watch. The Knicks will be, uh, what the Knicks going to be doing? Getting ready for the summer league. Okay, week. we'll see. Jason, with that velvety voice, what's the next segment? Well, uh, tonight, <laughs> now it's top. Uh, <laughs> top five players in today's NBA that would thrive in the 90s. Okay, so this segment. No is positions, just the top five. Just top, top five. five. Okay. Just so you hear that. Top five players. Top I'm five not players. Say, not John Johnson from the Bronx that you played with in 1972 is going to come back yeah, and play this. There was somebody, John Johnson, that played with too. <laughs> Johnny, what's up, man? He played what's in up, Virginia, Johnny? too. No. So, Go quickly, ahead. at our job, we work at a school for kids with special needs. There's a lot of people there that and keep talking staff. about. Yeah, some, <laughs> and some staff <laughs> that think that. <laughs> <laughs> that think that a lot of these players nowadays are more athletic, so they would thrive in a more physical 90s NBA, 80s NBA. Um, I think Darry and I are on the same page with this. I don't think that there are many guys in this era that would be able to physically last in the um, 90s and 80s. But Darry's going to give you his list. I'll give you my list, and we'll elaborate a little bit on that. I'm a, okay, first... Before I give my list, what's so delusional about, I was having a, this guy, and see you have guys, like it's disrespectful, because I did play ball. And when you have guys that never played, this guy told me, people out there, that if Embiid was born in the 70s, he would have been taught to play basketball uh, the way the centers did in the 80s and 90s. And if you know anything about ball, who's your top five, Darry? I don't have a top five, but I could. Say, I would say Kawhi Leonard. Okay. Devin Booker. Okay. Kevin Durant. Okay. LeBron James. Okay. And it was one person. Oh, and Giannis. Giannis. Okay. Okay. No centers in that list. I like that. Yeah, because there's no centers. Like the NBA don't have centers. They took that position out. There's no centers in the league. My five. I go LeBron, Kawhi. Uh, I like Jimmy Butler a lot. I think Jimmy Butler would be a very solid '90s player. Um, Giannis, and I'd go my last guy. It was for me. It was either Paul George or Jalen Brown, and I went Paul George. I, you know, I was thinking about Paul George. So. I, I just think that no, Paul George is definitely. He, Paul, yeah, that's Paul, a good Paul George is a is a no. That's a oh, good pick. No, that's a great. There pick. must be a full moon tonight, people. This guy's agreeing with. No, me. that's a Paul, great pick. I just think Paul George and Ka Paul George, Kawhi, Jimmy Butler, all all five of these guys are very solid defenders and they're tough. I think that they they would last. I think Jimmy Butler wouldn't back down. Like I think Jimmy Butler is by far the worst of the five I've picked. But do you see him backing down to anyone in the nineties? No, but but I think DeRaw, DeMar DeRozan would be an all star. You think so? I, that's his not game, a bit, that's yeah, not a his bit. game is all everything he does is old school. The mm -hmm. mid range game, the pump fake, the leaning in. He's a big guy too. Yeah. I've seen him in person. He's like, what six 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 seven like two twenty two twenty five. Okay. But he's a big six seven. Okay, you know. So we named together about what nine guys. Now, can I say something about today's game? Yeah, say something about today's game, but the, then we'll get to the next segment. Okay, real quick. Yeah. Today's game, 
you, you have guys saying that um, Michael Jordan. How, how can I put this? Okay, I'm gonna just say this. What should have coded? What Embiid? There's no centers. They took the the center position out of the NBA. When you vote on the All Star, it's three front court and two back courts. That's ridiculous. Embiid, as someone said, you could put him in the, in the 70s and 80s. You, learn, you can't teach seven foot two. When you're seven foot two, 300 pounds, there's no way in the world you should be trying to play like a six two guard. You're seven foot two. You're strong. Shaq was dominant because nobody could stop Shaq. He was a strong guy. He had great footwork. And B refuses to do that. Every time he takes a three-pointer, he does himself a disservice. I don't care if you made three or four of them. If you was in that post, you would be, I mean, you have people in foul trouble because the kid does have great footwork. But his heart, it's made, he's made out of Kool-Aid. Like, he falls on the floor, he flops. How do you flop at yeah. seven two? You know. Okay. So then that's the thing. Like th this is what I wanted to talk to you about. The big name that everyone keeps talking about is Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid. This this this. And he would do so well in the '90s. And you think about the '90s and and <clears throat> outside of Michael, what was the most prime position? Center. Center. And the you, game was played inside out. Exactly. It's not played inside out now. Exactly. It's, everything is the peru Let me, I'm I'll, sorry. I'll, right. na I'll name centers and you tell me if Joel Embiid would have a good game against no, them. Uh, hold up. Before you say that. Sure. The reason why he wouldn't be relevant is because guys are going back at him. Mm -hmm. You see, in, in the 70s and 80s, I mean the 80s and 90s, the leading scorers on a lot of the teams were the centers. Mm -hmm. You got David Robinson, Akeem Olajuwon, Alonzo Mourning, um, Rick Smith. Uh, Patrick Ewing. Patrick Ewing. Um, Alonzo Mourning. Alonzo Mourning. Uh, Matumbo was a force. Mm -hmm. I mean, he don't have any of that. Now. Like, he has no adversaries. Who goes back at him? No one. No one. No one. So, and then it's, it's a cushion. I mean, the basketball ain't made to be played 132-130. Where's the will of stopping the other team? That's what I try to explain. It. Yeah. Yeah. The will of, I mean, the, the object of playing basketball is to score and stop the other team from scoring. Not if if everybody scores, who's imposing their will? You you get hit in the head, and these guys are looking for fouls. Yeah. It's, it's a very soft league now. Because of that one and done. Mm -hmm. The college, you know, that's why. Dudes average seven points a game, and they're, number, they're lottery picks. Drew Holiday... And Russell Westbrook didn't average over 12 points a game, and they were both lottery picks. Now, they're great um, pros, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying um, they it's were very, one and done. Yeah. They were one and done. No, I don't think Westbrook was a one and done. Westbrook stayed two years. Yeah. Drew Holiday was a one and done. Yeah. And he didn't have a great year at UCLA. Mm -mm. So I'm going to name out centers. You tell me if MB would have a good game against them. Okay. Hakeem Olajuwon. Absolutely not. David Robinson. Absolutely not. Patrick Ewing. Absolutely not. Never, never in the garden. He would suck. Why why you put so much because when I it become a the Nick? Mecca. Why Patrick because. Ewing who has little hands and wear a size eleven? Okay. Is he not a top fifty player of all no, time? Pat I think is good, so. but why you do that? Why you why, why you gotta make fun of my man's baby hands? I, I mean, so what? He, he couldn't palm the ball. It's so ridiculous. What? You ever see him and Barkley give five? Because they both <laughs> got little hands. And Donald Trump, all three of them. <laughs> <laughs> you put Donald Trump, yeah. Donald Trump can't wash his face. <laughs> He's gotta hold the glass. He like washed this. his cheek with both hands. <laughs> oh man. So Rick Smith's. Bad boy. Yeah, he was. Who else? Uh, Matumbo. Matumbo would kill him. Morning would kill him. Um, Michael man. Owen with Candy would kill him. <laughs> oh, Brad Darty. Brad Darty on Cleveland. Yeah. Brad Darty would have killed him. Uh, Sabonis. Oh, yeah. Vladi Divac. Vladi Divac. Um, who am I missing? Uh, i trying to think. All these centers. Wow. We named a lot. Yeah. Um, Sean Kemp, he, I would put him at a four. I think Sean, Sean Kemp, Kemp was a four. Play. Yeah. yeah, Sean Kemp was a four. Um, even Kevin Duckworth, may rest in peace. Weber, but no, no Weber, Weber was, Weber a, was four. a four. Yeah, Weber was a four. Um, That's enough, right? That's ten. Yeah. 
you know? And that's crazy to think that he wouldn't be top 10 in the 90s, he but he's MVP now. Playing with midgets. Yeah. Like I we mean, played on Tuesday night and we won by 30. Who? Like we. we oh, played yeah, yeah, play, yeah, yeah, yeah. I found out too. Shout out, shout out to the boys. You know they got your game on Disney Plus. Yeah, and Hulu. Yeah, because those are little kids. And PBS play. for those who don't. Uh, who can't He's playing little Hulu. kids, man. Yeah. <laughs> they looking for y'all, right? <laughs> oh man! All right. Trouble so. gotta find it. <laughs> oh man! I think this was a good day. I think you're a little delusional, not already counting the Knicks out. But Yo, all in all, I think you had some good takes today, Darry. I'll give you that. So, give you a little... You're so biased when it comes to the Knicks. I'm not biased. Man. I'm just a New Yorker. Big difference. I'm a New Yorker too. I love the Knicks. I mean, I love. Oh no! Excuse make me. Make sure you get that soundbite. You keep that soundbite forever. I love New York. I, that doesn't mean I have to like. I don't like Rudy Giuliani. Neither do he I. He was the mayor of New York. I don't like him. I don't like what um, how Steinbrenner is doing with the Yankees. Who cares about those guys? There's a better team in Queens. More money to spend now. You should. Go, we should. We'll go to a game. Don't worry. I'm telling you, these teams that wear orange and blue. They, the Nick, I mean, of the, line. the Mets got two old guys that already born that's guys. The, that's the one problem, but it's okay. We got uh, Uncle Steve. Uncle Steve's payroll. We're here to talk basketball. Yeah, we talk basketball. Okay. But um, yeah, I think, I think the playoffs have been really good. Uh, I ain't gonna say that. I think they've been pretty solid. It's terrible. Okay. I, I can't stand. In closing. In closing. People don't look at co- college basketball is the last bit of basketball that you're going to see skills fundamentals you don't see no big men shooting three-pointers in cop the kid bancott in north carolina mm-hmm. he won't come into the league and shoot three-pointers no and b didn't do that at kansas Either my didn't. friend is the assistant coach at kansas when b was there wiggins all of them yeah carl anthony towns didn't do that in kentucky he oh i forgot about him he is the worst how, how oh, do he you, doesn't shoot threes and he's how do you allow him, him to play <laughs> All he do is stay. He got the biggest like, feet in the world, so they can't set pick and roll with him because he's tripping everybody. He wears like a 23. Jeez. He's flat-footed. The worst thing they did was to allow him that he won that three-point shoot because this guy does not. I think the worst thing they did was uh, get Rudy Gobert to give him this false hope that, oh, I'm a, I'm a four that can shoot. And Rudy Gobert is terrible, too. Those, are, those two guys got the biggest feet. <laughs> teammates <laughs> in the world they need to measure that i think rudy gobert wears like a 21 towns is a 23 and he's missing a toe <laughs> <laughs> all right i think we need to cut it off. i'm only playing i don't know about that man's feet thank you guys for tuning in this week can't wait to see you again soon let's go knicks see you in the eastern conference finals so long y'all you see what i have to deal with